This video is specifically related to solving a noise problem related to the Maytag Jet Clean Dishwasher Quiet Pack. The nasty noise turned out to be a broken part. I found that the discharge housing assembly had basically broke. A uh, piece had separated and fallen down and was sitting on the impeller and that was causing the noise that you heard. So that was fixed in this video with a uh, glue. You can buy that new piece, but it's about 58 bucks, which is a lot of money to spend on a dishwasher that's uh, about 18 years old. This actually has been a pretty good dishwasher. It's done a lot of loads. This is the first problem we've had other than the recall item on the uh, jet wash stuff, but pretty good dishwasher. But anyway, this just shows you how to fix this one particular noise issue that I had shows you what the actual problem was there's a couple of great videos out there that show step by step how to take this thing apart and they go a little bit deeper than I go so recommend watching that as well Definitely sounds like it's coming from down in here somewhere. So I was going to try and get this apart. First I, I pried off these little clips that are holding down this uh, arm that spins, but I think that's not necessary. I think you basically need to grab that center nut right here. I got some like channel locks, grabbed a hold of it, and I think if you can unscrew that, hold the propeller, turn this nut, and I think this will back out. So I'm holding on to this. That pops out. There's this little piece was sitting down in there. It's got a little tang hanging down. Looks like it doesn't exactly matter where that's at. Now there's some doesn't sound too good. Alright, well anyway, we'll go ahead and we'll take these torque screws out. One, two, three, four, five, six of them. We'll get that off, see what it looks like underneath there. Got all six of those torque screws out. Seems like it should come apart. Okay, this whole, whole assembly is coming up and out of there.
there's a little area right here where this obviously has to plug into something so there's an orientation there Strangely, that does not sound near as bad. Now, I'm not sure what that is, but there's some random debris. We'll get that all cleaned out in here. See if it maybe could have been that simple. Okay, it looks like you could pull this ring up. Take this out and clean it. Check underneath there. Kind of lightly pops in. Now, there's a couple little plastic spacers here that are on top of this impeller. It's kind of gritty right here but I think if I pulled hard enough I could pull this impeller off. Looks like it might be keyed so it only goes on one way. Now right here looks like where maybe water goes in there so these need to line up with some ports that are in the back. We'll get a little shot of that here, show you where these plug into. Yep. Okay, the deposits on here, obviously some kind of calcium, they're pretty stiff, so maybe get a putty knife. But what I also noticed on the other side, when I looked down inside one of these holes, I could see that it was partially blocked. So I'm going to stick my screwdriver down in here and just kind of break this calcium up. It's down inside that hole. It broke away real easy. So now I'll get my putty knife, clean this off. I think this is the filter. These areas right here, if I push down on them, they're soft. Well, they're coated with that lime, but other than that, they were like a hard paper, like a filter. So I think this might be your a filter. Just be careful you don't ram your putty knife and poke a hole in these, what I assume are the filter membranes out here. So as I push right here with my thumb on what I think is the filter membrane, this is pretty stiff, but as I push a little harder, I actually kind of crunch through that calcium buildup and then I can kind of get most of it broken away. So I'm going to just continue to do that all the way around on this filter. Obviously the smart thing to do would be to replace this with a new one, but you know we don't even know if this is going to work. So let's start with the cheap fix first. With those three screws out, this should lift up. Kind of the bottom stays in there. There's a split right here. May take a little uh, tapping to get these to separate. Then this should lift off and expose the impeller. You can see the sep You can see the separation right there. So we'll just keep working around. With a little prying that came off. You can see in here. Appears to be some kind of a cover. And then the impeller there. I'm starting to think that what I thought was a cover is actually something that uh, where you see those three holes, I think those used to be basically plastically welded to in here. So I think that's that covers actually broke loose. That may be the problem. With what I suspect is the broken cover off, I'm going to go ahead and close the door. So 
So I think all that terrible noise that we were hearing is basically this thing just laying on that impeller when it should be attached to the underside of that uh, piece there. So it may be a quick fix is to re-glue this to there. You can see on the underside where that black impeller has been rubbing on this when this dropped down, broke loose from here. So I don't see any reason why I can't try gluing this plastic back together so I'll get it cleaned up, get some glue on it and try and glue this back together. I decided to use an epoxy because I wanted to be able to fill some gaps. I considered super glue, but I've got this uh, glued back together. Now we're going to let it sit here and harden. Once I got glue all over everything, I could put the two pieces back together and I could see down these three holes and get them lined up with where they used to be connected. I went ahead and loosened that bolt holding that impeller, you know, grabbed onto here, turned the bolt, got it loose, but the impeller does not want to come out of there. If I were replacing it, I'd get under here and I'd pry on it, but since I think I've solved the problem, I'm not going to press my luck. I'm just going to tighten that back up. Those have to line up, then these bolts will line up with their holes, so it'll only go on in you know one correct position. I took this out. This is some kind of a filter, kind of halfway cleaned that off. Put that back down in there. So the bottom's out. This impeller came off. It is keyed, so it only goes on one way before it falls into the two key slots. There's these two little plastic spacer rings. They go on top of there. Then this has the holes that need to line up with the holes in back. And they are right over here. Should be those. We'll put in these six Torx head screws. I had little fumble fingers when I was putting in one of these six screws. I dropped it and it went down in here and that was a pain to get off. I ended up loosening these bolts. I could get this up just enough. I was able to reach down there and get it, but don't fumble finger and drop these. They're uh, stainless steel, so they're non-magnetic, so you can't catch them with a magnet. So now we'll put it back together. So I was trying to put these six screws back in and it seemed like you know the front ones were going in good but the back ones I wasn't catching any threads. Well I just kept wiggling around and finally it, it dropped in. So if these bolts or screws are not catching then it's probably not on all the way and just keep wiggling until they do. I think it was just sticking in here it doesn't really matter, matter where it'll go in like four ways but shouldn't have matter so set that in there. And then we're ready to put this back on. Apparently there's, there's no orientation there. I had done the extra step of undoing this. I don't think I had to because basically the whole assembly's held on with this nut. We'll go ahead and get this snapped back into all these little fingers. We'll get this nut tightened down. We'll give her a start. Got this snapped back in there. If you look on here, there's definitely a, a keyed way. So this only goes on here, you know, one of two ways. So it'll drop into drop into the key. We've got that nut snugged back down. 
did some minor cleaning out. Let's shut the door. See what we got. Let that glue dry overnight, put it all back together. We've run it a couple times, everything's working fine, so it's good for now. Quick fix.